And we have in studio Matt Zane, singer of Society One and director and all around great guy and artist. How you doing, man? Oh, thank you so much for having me back. I have to admit that um, even though I've been on your show a couple of times, mm -hmm. I, there's a 16 year old kid in me still that when I get to come on here and sit next to you for a bit and breathe your air, Aww. it still really makes me like, uh, like really kind of excited and jumping inside and reminds me of why I do what I do. You're a big part of that. And that, I makes don't, me, that makes me feel good, man. Thank and I don't you. know if you remember, but uh, about four years ago when I was on your show once, yes. I told you, uh, I don't know if you remember the story, I told you I saw you with James when I was 16 mm -hmm. and I brought my girlfriend with me and she had an orgasm when you walked out on stage. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. And it was so from that Dave. moment <laughs> that that changed the way that I approached music because really? before that I was just a musician yeah. or an aspiring musician. Yeah. After seeing you and her reaction, yeah. then I actually wanted to become a rock star. And I realized- <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. That's a great yeah. story. And I actually realized that you could do more than just feel music and write good music and, and and so on and so forth like you introduced an element of sexuality to it that i never knew existed i really appreciate you that know? and so, you know what that guy i just did an interview today and that where that comes from is my first i think you know my first exposure to music was kiss or like you know it was zeppelin and kiss in those days and they were really theatrical they always got dressed up and then i got into uh lou reed and the you know makeup and there was all kinds of video aspects to that multi-dimensional stuff. And then you get to David Bowie, which is androgynous yeah. with depth. So we, we, when you started, when I was really young, it was Kiss and it was just like theatrics with fun songs. And then you get to Bowie and it's theatrics with depth. And then that's when I connected and I was like, oh my God, you can, you can be an, uh, you know, an expanse, you can expand, expand yourself in a in a honest true way amplify a part of yourself that's really there and use that on stage in addition to your instrument and uh i think i owe that to those elton john guys like that that just went fucking crazy with the outfits and well um, i mean and 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 those guys i can see it too but you your band but well, that was like you were that thing for me so for me to sit across from you like what 35 whenever yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> later it's just still a little mind-blowing yeah. for me and i appreciate you having me on i appreciate everybody having me so thanks again it the only difference play. is that jane's addiction had to shop at thrift stores yeah <laughs> you know, you, we you, had to get second hand you, you did it so cool you know what the part of the story i never told you was is that earlier in that day we actually went to your hotel room and stalked you guys and you came to the window and talked to me no <laughs> for real man yeah was this dreadlock or long hair uh man this was during the ritual tour okay so uh, dreadlock yeah so you came up to the window like second floor and you're like hey is there anything cool to do around here and i uh, couldn't even speak because i was just so in awe of you, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, so at least i can talk now when we're in the same room so, yeah. so you're here to talk man and we got some static x information coming yeah, up absolutely. and i want i want you to tell me why you're so deeply ingrained in it and what it is and and tell everybody what's going on yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, the main reason why I'm doing the rounds of the press right now is because I'm trying to uh, preach the word, get the word out, talk about it, let people know that it's happening, let people know the information that I can about it. Um, Static X, the original Static X is, is rejoining. Um, and it's not even really minus Wayne because what they did was is they went and got all of his recordings that were unreleased. All the unfinished tracks, on the all unfinished vocals, mm -hmm. all the unfinished music. They got the original Wisconsin Death Trip band back together, the original band that was the one that got signed, the original band that sold the most records, mm -hmm. the, the, record, the 20th anniversary of Wisconsin right, right, Death Trip. Right. They rounded it all up together, and uh, they're gonna complete Wayne's final works with his original band members and do one more static uh, X record called Project Regeneration. With the existing vocals. With the vocals, that the songs that Wayne did not finish. They are finishing his song. So it's like That's the original incredible. band being back. back I together. remember Tara telling me she had songs and vocals that weren't released and she was trying to figure out what to do with them. Yeah. And I'm really glad that something's happening with them. Absolutely. I knew they existed as well. And um, she obviously asked me to do the videos because I did Wayne Stedek's last three mm -hmm. music videos before he passed. So obviously when, when this happened, my involvement in this isn't really on the music side. It's on the video side because yeah. I got the call uh, to, to come in and help them manifest and augment their vision that they had to kind of uh, bring Wayne back in, into the fold um, uh, in, in, on a directing level yeah. and on a visual level with, with the band. And it's been an extremely amazing, rewarding experience as well as a challenge because he's no longer here anymore. So are you guys, so is the band going to reform and play tracks of his vocals singing the songs? 
there's there's a lot of things going on and some I can talk about and some I can't. I right? think that would be a bitching idea. That's all I'm saying with like a fucking video montage on the fucking stage of some I, Wayne shit and play a track and play live to it. If you guys I, need a production manager, he might I'll be the guy. I'll run this thing. <laughs> I can say that I did see the stage set up last yeah. night and there is massive LED screen walls, so I can say that. Okay. And they're huge, like big. They're like, there's a, I think there's eight of them. Great. And there's a big backdrop. So that is going to be incorporated into it. That, that I can admit. Tony's already admitted that. And the teaser for people okay. that don't know what I'm talking about, they can go to static x.org, they can look at the teaser. Okay, so he does admit the LED wall, so I can definitely talk about all right, that. All right, all right, absolutely. That's a, when is this? So, what they're doing right now is they've got a pre order on the record right now. The teaser's out, so you can already hear a snippet of five songs. Great, you can already see. I sent you guys the teaser, I think that you, I don't know if you, if you guys watched it. Um, you can I see, thought. you can see some of the videos. Um, and uh, and we're and they're going to be releasing a little bit more of of the tracks every month until next year when they That's announce cool. the tour and That's they cool. announce you know the um, the the and they release all the music videos. I'm actually on Sunday shooting the second music video awesome. for, for for the band and uh, yeah, same thing. We're just we're getting everybody back together and 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 it's for Wayne, you know, and it's and we're we're. Wayne, it's Wayne's voice. We're hearing it, you know, and, and what I've done. This is, must be so haunting. It's weird. And the weirdest part about it, what the people don't realize is when you look at the teaser, Wayne's in it. Wayne's singing the new songs. Mm -hmm. What I did was I went into my archive footage of stuff that I shot for him. And I did a process called rotoscoping. What I did is I went in and I actually outlined him for every, uh, one, one, one 24th of a second, every single time I had to do it. And then I, I put him in the new video singing his new songs. Oh my God. So awesome. He's, Crazy. So he's actually singing with the band again. And I've been, managed to be able to get them reunited visually. So while they're take static X is taking care of the music and they're reunited yeah. this way with Wayne, I'm reuni reuniting them visually. It's like when Forrest Gump met Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's, this is really exciting. And I, and, you know, Matt, you reached out to come on the show and plug the thing, you know, plug yeah. plug the what's happening. And I said to you, that's so weird. I've been listening to Wisconsin Death Trip like for weeks. Like it's been heavy rotation in my house. You know, I do a lot of stuff around the house and, you know, it's it's constantly on. And that's the record I go to. And it took me and you told me that the memorial was four years ago. Yeah. It took me that long to be able to play it. Yeah. I couldn't hear it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it just it yeah. fucked me up because that was that was a that was such a double trauma we lost wayne and that was just devastating and then tara who was you know they were glued to the hip you know she took her own life maybe a year later or something like that yeah it was almost a year later you i don't know if any, you probably all don't know but dave and i actually played the memorial together we yeah. did two two songs uh and i performed one of the songs that i actually directed a music video for and tara actually ran up on stage yeah. during one, one point so yeah. we were both there at, at uh uh, you know that that was like a really bittersweet thing oh, because yeah. it was for Wayne, but then at the same time, you know, I know it was no big deal for you to play with me, but for me to play with, play it with was you. a big deal for me to play with you, yeah. and because I always you were my introduction to suspension. Yeah, not a lot of people know that anymore. You know what yeah. I mean? So like that's yeah. you know we've inspired each other's lives and touched each other's lives. So well, that's, I appreciate that. I um <clears throat> and I think Tara was there that day. Wasn't she? Uh, was she one of the girls? The very first time I suspended on your show? Uh -huh. Yeah, she was there. Yeah. Yeah, was yeah the she was there. Fly. Was it the dragon? Yeah, fly? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. I mean, that's how long I knew her. I mean, I knew her obviously way better, but um, yeah, when, when he passed, like she just, I mean, she couldn't exist. I mean, they were inseparable and, you know, God, that... That's a really anyway. I don't want to get sad about it, but this is an exciting celebration. This, that's of what this that's is about, life. and the yes. band really wants me to make sure that I put out there that this is about a celebration of Wayne. Yeah. That's what this is. This isn't anything other than that. It's about Wayne Static, his music, his legacy, what he's done, getting it out there, getting it out there properly. And I got to tell you something. They invited me over last night to the studio, and I got to hear the majority of the record, and it it is. It is amazing. It's like it, it, I'm blown away by what they've been able to take from Wayne and, and hearing him back with the original band. Because let's face it, I, I love Wayne and I love what he did, but Wisconsin Jet Trip was four guys. You know, it's his fucking best record. Yeah. It's and, the best record. And they 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 have that magic back on a lot yeah. of these tracks. I'm telling you, I'm going to get you a copy of this. Okay, please. When, when it's because I'm telling you, you got to listen to some of these tracks. It's really really amazing. I mean, to me, that's the best record. And can you answer a piece of Wisconsin death trip trivia for me, which I've always wondered. Probably not, but <laughs> all right, <clears throat> I'll try. On uh, what's the second song? 
I grab my shovel. Yeah, it was stupid. Very stupid at the end, right? You know that lead? Yeah, yes. What's that from? I don't know. God damn it. <laughs> but you know what, though? I could just call, I could text Tony right now. Text Tony because I, I got it. I've always wondered what movie that was. Yeah, I'll, it's easy. I could ask him. I just never. I could have Googled it, too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's definitely answers. And I'll text there. him afterwards. What's the line? Um. Uh, yeah, it was. Very stupid. Dan's looking it up right now. All right, we're going to figure this out. The first line is, I got my shovel, or what did she say? Oh, I, I, and it's funny. They resampled it in the teaser, so I should know, but, but I... Yeah, it's I'm with Stupid. Phantom, da, 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 da. Just keep talking. I'll find yeah. it. I'll find it. I have it right here, too, this song. That's so fucking good. Yeah, just what's the... I'm going to see him Sunday, so I'll ask him. I'll okay. be like, I was... If you didn't hear the show, guys, you know, and... Yeah. Uh, well, this is going to go up on iTunes, so anybody can listen to it. This, oh. in, you know, this is not just live. Oh, it, cool. It cool. goes, so you can direct, you can actually direct people to the link, and we'll send it to you. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, I'll give it to my, my, it. my uh, manager, and they'll, they'll have a field day with it. Cool. Sean Baruch, my new guy, he's been doing great. Hi, Sean, if you're is listening. It Linnea Quigley, is it, a, is it a girl? It's a woman, yeah. Yeah, it's from Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama. So, I would expect oh, nothing I less. I knew it. I knew it. I would expect nothing <laughs> less. Yeah. And now I have to see that movie. No. Linnea um, Quigley, the Scream Queen, the original Scream Queen. Right? So what I would recommend is, you know, you can, you can download this show on SoundCloud and just chop out our bit and just, you know, promo it. If, oh, you, if you like. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I said, my, my management will have a field day with it. They, they cool. were, you know. So cool. Absolutely. Totally do it. So that's basically it. I mean, that, that's the situation. I'm just, I just really wanted to make people know that this is a legit thing. I'm totally behind it. Um, and uh, I wouldn't be if it, if it wasn't. We have an interesting call here. I'm going to let you sit here while I take okay. it because I, this is interesting. Hi, who's this? Did you push the button? Hi, who's this? Hello. Hello. All right, well, call back if you want to answer that question. I got a, I got a screened question. There's that, another one. Do you want to take it? Is it the same topic? No, it's not. No, no. Let's let's finish up with Matt here. Um, so great, dude. Keep us up. Keep us updated. And um, absolutely. Thanks for know. having me on. You mind if I just plugged two quick society one? Anything you want. Oh, okay. Anything here we go. Thank you so much. Yeah. So society one's doing a new record right now. Black level six. And uh, we've got some uh, ending shows at the end of the year uh, with Doyle from the Misfits. Oh fuck yeah! Uh, yeah, we're doing uh, Temecula with him on the eighth, and then we're doing um, San Diego with him at Brick by Brick on the tenth. Uh, he was really, really cool. We've already done some shows with him this year. So it's, uh, it's going to be a great way to end the year uh, with my band, Society One. And then we're coming out with a new record next year, Black Level Six. But uh, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to. Did you oh, wanna... oh, and if I don't talk about John Five, he's going to kill me. Okay, yeah, but he was here not too yeah, long ago. Yeah, I know. Ago, I heard so the show. It was a great interview, it. by the way. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I just, I just worked on John Five's latest video yeah. with a guy named Brett Boggs. It's gonna, when you see this thing, it's gonna, your mind's going to explode. He has a new record coming out, Invasion. I talked to him right before I came on. And yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, you know, just mention the new record and you're working on the video. So yeah, John, yeah. I know you're probably listening. You're on tour right now. There you go. New, new John five video in the works, uh, uh, off his new record invasion. So now I've, 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 you know, he's in a onesie watching a documentary right now. That's all he does. Yeah, <laughs> no, but he, he liked the uh, post right before I came on. So I'm thinking he's probably listening. Okay. Very yeah, cool. So. John, we miss you. We love you. And, uh, yeah, man, Matt, thank you for coming thank in. You. Thank you for having me so much.